Well, Gang Carolina Jack Pot Time coming at you on Saturday morning. It also means that it is January the 13th. Hope you all are having a great day so far. If you're new around here, please give just a tiny bit of consideration to stay true around here. Hit the like button, subscribe to this channel. We do the college football talk all year long. We have a heck of a good time doing it. So, uh, just to cut to the chase, I don't like to put rumors out there and report things that really aren't fact, but seeing a lot of smoke and a lot of smoke it's billowing this morning on Twitter uh, the Gamecock stuff um, you know usually when a whole lot of people are talking about something there's got to be some type of truth to it there and it looks like uh, wide receivers coach for the Gamecocks Justin Stepp uh, is not going to be retained now, his contract was up, and you know, last week, Shane Beamer made the hire of James Coley, former Texas A&M assistant, former uh, offensive coordinator at Georgia, Florida State, and uh, Miami, and it was initially thought that he would come in and coach the tight ends. Well, it turns out they're going to put him as the wide receivers coach, so it looked like they were maybe going to move Justin Stepp into the tight ends coach role, and that was kind of head-scratching. Uh, thought maybe maybe I don't know and I don't know how much each of these demand but maybe the tight ends coaching position is not as demanding as the wide receiver coach and maybe he could work on his recruiting a little bit uh, that's not the case apparently he's going to uh, not be around uh, the Gamecock program any longer so we'll see what happens with that so they've also made a hire of new running backs coach Markel Blackwell now this guy came from Texas A&M, and also the year before had worked at uh, Ole Miss uh, as running backs coach there, and kind of developed Quinshawn Judkins. Remember, Judkins was a, a, like a three-star recruit, and he developed him into uh, the top rusher in the SEC in his first year. I mean, um, and if you notice, Judkins last year, while he still, I think, scored like 15 touchdowns, uh, his numbers were not as good as they were his freshman year. And coincidentally, Blackwell had went to Texas A&M. So looks like Shane Beamer has now raided uh, Jimbo Fisher's old uh, A&M staff for two assistant coaches. So I think this will be a good hire. We'll see about the James Coley thing. Uh, a lot of people are upset about Justin Stepp. Look, uh, and people point to, well, he, he developed Xavier Leggett from nothing into the top receiver on the team last year. Okay, well, I mean, that was uh, kind of out of necessity there that he stepped up and became the top receiver on the team when Juice Wells went down. Uh, let's just face facts. I mean, I think that was more what Xavier Leggett uh, was showing what he could do when he was thrust into the role than maybe he, he was developing. I don't, I don't want to talk bad about the guy now that he's getting shown the door, but I mean, facts are facts. They say, well, he, he developed Josh Van. Josh Van wasn't anything before. Uh, he came there. Well, Josh Van uh, was playing behind Brian Edwards for the majority of the time he was at South Carolina. Uh, so, you know, you can't really say that either. Um, but uh, the wide receiver position has just not produced the, the way it should uh, since Beamer's been there. I mean, you basically will have one uh, wide receiver, one, and then nobody. Uh, that's kind of what we had last year. I mean, nobody was really making plays. I mean, you could also maybe point to uh, the uh, non-development of it. I mean, as much as you want to talk about uh, Xavier Leggett busting out and he developed him and Josh Van, well, we developed him, but what about Nick Harper? This guy's a five-star athlete, and <clears throat> he didn't really do enough to amount to a pitch monkey shut last year. So, uh, I don't know. And then the recruiting stuff, uh, other than Harbor, who was actually an athlete when he came to South Carolina, I mean, we've been kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel on wide receiver recruiting. It hasn't been, really been great. Uh, you know, they, they, they went, they should, he should have been able to flip that kid uh, that had committed to Tennessee that was from South Carolina, the one that uh, was down at Strom Thurmond. And I, I forget his name right now. Somebody over you know, see that, get some well, you gonna remember his name next year? He should have been able to flip him. Uh, to South Carolina, wasn't able to do it, uh, so I, I don't know. I mean, these assistant coaches, look, you can't get that attached to them anyway. I mean, they come and go. I mean, every, every staff is going to have 
some changes with that every year. It's very rare that you, know, you have 100% continuity from X year to the next uh, in that regard. So, you know, I guess good luck to Justin Stepp at his next assignment because it looks like he's not going to be around any longer. And we'll, I guess we'll find out about the tight end coach deal. Uh, the Beamer's got another hire to make there. And still, I mean, what's the deal with this Ryan Day? I mean, not Ryan, why do I keep calling him Ryan Day? He's not even going to say it's a loop day. The strength and conditioning coach still contract run out uh, hasn't been uh, said he's not being retained uh, so apparently he's still on the staff why I mean he had like triple digit injuries last year but we're, we want some more of that don't we anyway um, the Kalen DeBoer hire yesterday at Alabama everybody's talking about this one well I mean he, he, he's got a good record but can he recruit can he recruit well for one thing Alabama kind of recruits itself uh, he's going to be surrounded by people who can recruit uh, I think the guy will do just fine. He's 104 and 12 uh, as a head coach. Now it's, his head coaching uh, route was kind of kind of unconventional there. Uh, from 2005 through two, through the 2009 season, was head coach at Sioux Falls, which is an NAIA school in South Dakota, and he won three NAIA championships there. So that means you know four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So out of the five years he was there. He won the championship. He was he was the natty winner. He was the Nick Saban of NAIA for three of the five years, and those were his first his first five years as head coach anywhere. And then he takes a long like a, like ten years or so where he's uh, you know assistant coach, uh, position coach at different schools, all in the the Rocky Mountain uh, Pacific Northwest region of the country. And then in 2020, he's the head coach at Fresno State for two years. And then he's hired in November of 2021 to be the head coach at Washington. I bet you he was hired on a Zoom call. And he took over a dumpster fire. I mean, the head coach that were there before, Jimmy Lake, uh, they were not very successful. Uh, now, of course, you know, Washington and that part of the world have a lot more uh, COVID restrictions and I mean, it was just, uh, they took it, I think, more seriously than what's taken here uh, in the southern part of the U.S., but uh, that is what it is. I mean, the guy won football games. Uh, he's won everywhere he's been. Um, I think it's a good hire. So people in the know don't always necessarily know what they're talking about right off the rip. Uh, everyone had it picked as Dan Lanning, and he didn't even want the job. Uh, which is probably a good thing for Dan Lang. And I am I think this is a good hire, too. I mean, this guy is mature enough. Um, looks like he's 50 years. He's, he's older than Carolina Jackpot is by a year and some months. I, did you know I'm the same age? I have the same birthday as Kirby Smart. Isn't that crazy? Hmm. I mean, could you imagine uh, a couple of Y chromosomes got pushed this way and a couple of X ones got pushed in a different direction? I could be the one wearing a cool little visor with a floppy mo cut and having one of the best jobs in college football. As it were, <laughs> I ain't. But anyway, that doesn't have anything to do with much. Uh, I tell, hiring somebody in their 30s for a job like that, I just don't, I just don't know that that's a, that's a great move. Um, not saying he couldn't do it, but um, it's probably best for everyone that, that he turned that down, and then maybe maybe it's not. Maybe I'm wrong, and you know, and with the era of the NIL and the uh, transfer portal and the me 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 attitude in college football nowadays with the players, he might have been a better fit. He's younger, could relate better. You can look at it both ways. Older, has more experience, has more maturity. I don't want to go that route. So I think Alabama did fine for themselves. Now, is it going to be a home run hire? As you know, that's one of the, you watch many of our live shows, that's one of my uh, least favorite expressions in the world. Home run hire. What's a home run hire? That's a home run. We're talking about football. Why can't it be a touchdown hire? It's one of my least favorite expressions. Anyway, is that going to be a home run hire? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Everybody's putting up polls. How long will this guy last in Alabama? One to two years, three to four years, five years or more. I don't know. Just let the guy work. He's got enough pressure already without a bunch of jabronis over on Twitter 
creating polls about how long he's going to be able to head coach. What you going to do, pull it up in five years when he gets fired? See, I told everybody back in 2024, hey, the board wasn't no good. Anyway, that's about what I got to say about that. I think Alabama probably did about as good as they could do. And, uh, you know, it's a hot name. So congratulations there. Um, that's about all I got to say today, guys. So Justin Stepp looks to be gone. Um, still some changes need to be made in South Carolina. In Carolina, Jack Bob's opinion. Don't know if they will be, but we shall see. I'll see you guys later on. I appreciate it. Peace. I'm out of here. Go game, guys. Uh, 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 woo! Spurs up my toes up.